Okay, so you what is up? What is going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial So it has been a little bit of time since I've uploaded but I'm back and I want to try and upload around once a week So today I'm gonna do this little uh, sort of hyper zoom sort of effect transition I guess you could call it so basically all you need is I've set this up right here But I'll show you what to do so what you want to do is get a bunch of different clips and make them three to five frames long. Uh, another cool thing you can do is you can make the first one five frames and four, three. You can mess around with it like that. That does give it a really cool effect. So once you've got all these clips at four or five frames long, select the first clip. So make sure you have the keyframe selected. Drag the first keyframe to the start of the clip and then change this 100% to 200%. So basically you're just changing the scale of the clip to 200%. Drag this all the way to the end of the clip. And you can mess around with this, you can do it from 200 to 400% depending on how much you want the effect to work. So if we go to the next clip and you basically just want to do the exact same thing. Keyframe to scale, drag this keyframe to the start of the clip, make sure you put it on 200%. Drag this keyframe to the end of the clip and then repeat that for all of the clips that you want to do it to. Okay, so now that you've done that, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. So as you can see, it's not actually that smooth at the moment. So another thing you can do is select this clip. Make sure you highlight both the keyframes, right click, and then ease in. So that's just going to make each zoom in a little bit smoother. So repeat that for all of the clips. So now once you've done that, come to your first clip. So for example here, I've got this drone shot that zooms into all of these clips. So what you want to do is come to the end of the drone shot and then just go back three or four frames. Hit the scale keyframe button, go to the end of the clip and scale it to 200%. And then obviously make sure this keyframe is dead on at the end. So now if we watch it back, it will zoom in and it will look a little bit more fluid through all the other clips. Um, what I'm going to do is just to make it a little bit longer is I'm just going to select all these clips, hit option on the keyboard and drag these along so there's two lots. So it's a little bit of a longer uh, clip right there. So just like we did for the start of the clip, if we come to the last clip where you'll zoom in into, what I would say do is hit the scale button, come to the start, and then go five frames or four frames forward, and then zoom in to maybe one, two, five. So it's not as much, but you still get that effect, and it will just look a little bit smoother. And again, the same with this, highlight both the keyframes and ease in. And the same with the first clip, highlight both frames and ease in. So now if we hit play, you should have something that's a little bit like this. So what you want to do now is select all the clips that you've done this effect to or transition if you want to call it. Select all of them, hit option, drag this up and then if we just highlight all of this, right click and replace with After Effects Composition. <clears throat> Alright, so now that we've got all these clips in After Effects, if you come over to here where all the clips are, right click, hit new and then come to the adjustment layer. That's going to create an adjustment layer on top of all the clips. And if we come over to the effects and presets, search for CC Force Motion Blur, drag and drop that on the adjustment layer. And this is going to make it look a little bit more smoother, give it that sort of natural motion blur sort of effect. So if we head back into Premiere and then have a look at it. So as you can see, that's the sort of effect you get. So obviously another thing that you would want to do is add sound effects, uh, timeless in beat with the music and all of that. But I'm going to leave that up to your guys' creativity. I'm just going to add a few sound effects so you, you guys can sort of see what it looks like. I added some swish sound effects, you know, some birds in the background just to set the scene and all of that. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next tutorial next week. Peace.